I'm going to touch on a couple of songs in particular. Uh, two Pairs of Hands, uh, which I know came from a story that Danny told you, didn't he, about somebody uh, he knew it, using that phrase. Yeah, Two Pairs of Hands would just be a song trying to explain what it's like coping with all of that info that you and you what you're dealing with is trying to collate everything you're standing in the middle of the stage with a huge big audience around you and you're just trying to process all of this stuff at the same time it's an unusual place to to be you know i'm I've always been perfectly happy there a friend of mine his his stepmother's mother um was a quite a character and uh Joan was asking her to do something, and the stepmother retorted, Wait a minute, I've only got two pairs of hands, you know. So I think Mark latched onto that because I told him the story and it found its way into a song. It started off in this room, and we were using loops, drum loops, um, and a loop of Mark playing a Gibson 335, kind of, kind of a grungy little tiny little sound but he we made this little one bar loop and the whole song was formed around that sound The only song we actually used two drum kits on simultaneously. That tune, um, when we first heard it, was very much demoed up. So there was pre-production and um, and they already had quite a lot of loops on that and stuff like that. So when you heard it, it was like, okay, well that's obviously what this is. But what are we gonna what are we gonna do uh, with the with the groove here? And we ended up replacing. There was about three or four drum loops making this great big soup of a groove going. And uh, Mark said he didn't want to keep the machines. So I played the track through with one kit sound and then I, I played on top of it again with a different kit in a different place with a different sound to kind of get this the groove happening like the machines but played by me, played by human rather than machines. And then Danny played us some fantastic conga parts over the top of that. It just feels great. He and Danny together, it's a, it's a funk fest there. Yeah, I just remember it had a great groove to it and uh, and again that's one of the things about mark because he's so fully informed so fully developed as a player he can sit there if he's playing rhythm you get the picture pretty quickly of where this thing might be going i'm keeping the balls in the air trying to keep up with the band there'll be a little bit here and there i might get color by the drifting sand but they'll all be in the air when I'm up here on the bed, what it is, I'm chuckling here. 